Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name's Greg from in5d.com, zentasia.com, in5d.net for quantum tie-dye. And today we're going to be talking about those motherfuckers who were fear-mongering over the eclipse. Now, I honestly, I, I don't have any of this scripted out. Sometimes I'll have like a teleprompter going, put my thoughts in order, but there's just so much to cover and it would take forever. And by the time I got it all written out and scripted, I said, fuck it. Let's just do it the way it is right now. So let's do it. The one thing I have noticed leading up to today and today's solar eclipse here in the United States. And I don't know if this is true for everyone else, but I know it's true for Allie and me. Excessive tiredness, not just tiredness, excessive, really, really, really tired sleeping going to bed early, sleeping late, waking up, taking naps, maybe sometimes sleeping anywhere between 10 to 14 hours or more in a day. For me, that's unusual. I'm curious if anyone watching live or on the recorded version has been experiencing this. This has been going on for me for about at least a week. If you've been experiencing the tiredness as well, excessive tiredness, let me know how long it's been going on for you as well. Ellie and I have been answering on our weekly show every Tuesday night, Global Predictions. For the past five weeks, March 5th, 12th, 19th, 26th, and April Second, we've been answering questions about the eclipse. And I'll just play a couple of them while people are filing in, okay? But yeah, this is this is from Allie and me. On when was this? This one's from March 19th. This was, I believe, our the third week that we've been getting questions about the eclipse so let's let's take a peek at it shall we right off the bat yeah not everything is as what it seems right um so there's things that are going on with this particular comet and on this particular day that to me it, it's almost as if something unknown is going to Everyone has their, their ideas of what could be and what, you know, it might represent. But I think that there's something else going on. Something else celestial. Got the star card. And I, that's why I think, you know, if anyone's been experiencing these bouts of tiredness, that's often when you get these DNA upgrades. So that might be what's happening with these particular tarot cards. And it might have something to do with the energies that are coming in with this comet. So just pay attention to that. It, you know, the, the, the word DNA upgrades popping into my head. Yeah, there's, pro there's probably new energies coming in, like with, with what we got from the hanged man to look at things from a different angle. There's new energies definitely coming in uh, when you have that kind of alignment as well. Photonic energy, lunar energies. But what really started to tick me off happened weeks ago and I'll give you some examples here I was sent this one particular message on Facebook and I thought this this just doesn't sound right it says warning secret intelligence leak okay yeah right how many times have we heard this right secret intelligence le leak planned April 8th solar eclipse biological attack and then this doofus called uncle intel oh, 
who is this doofus? And what kind of bullshit name is that? And he's saying, oh, they're planning a biological attack on April 8th, just before the totality of the eclipse. Guess that didn't happen, did it? And I wonder how many, and I'm not even going to read the rest of it, but I'm wondering how many of these fucktards that put videos out for this crap are going to pull their videos on Twitter, but probably gain 20,000 followers because of that crap. And now they can share their bullshit and disinformation with even more people. That's the part that irks me. Let us take a look at what happened on Twitter. Thank you, Kendra. Yes, Engagement Farming 101. I call these fuckers out every time. Every time. And then I block them. <laughs> and my Twitter feed has been so much better since then, but I'm still getting these fuckers on there. There, Here's a post from Crushy. Good old Crushy. Crushy says he's MAGA Marine. Loves his Lord Jesus. Has three children, four grandsons. Trump 2024. Never surrender. Okay. Jesus. He posted this bullshit video. It's the article. I'm sorry. It's by Medea Greer. Right? And it's posted of all days, right? April 1st. April Fool's Day. How many fools fell for this shit? But she was serious about this. And she goes on to say a bunch of crap. And here's the video. Yeah. Is it related to the end times? Apparently not. Edgar Casey map, which he was, he wasn't putting out correct information by the time that map came around because everybody was trying to mine him for information and he, and he would give it to everyone and eventually it got clouded. So it made me wonder about this, this person. Did you like this article? No, it was hot air and bullshit. Medea Greer. Okay. Who the hell is she? Right? Let's take a peek. It says she's the editor, not editor in chief, but the editor chief at AMG hyphen news. Let's take a look at some of the bullshit she's been posting. Boom! With a couple cues where the O's are supposed to be. Trump's executive orders, blah, blah, blah. Gitmo, tribunals, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. Here's another bullshit one that's been floating around Twitter. It's been debunked a kajillion times, but she's posting it anyway. Obviously, this woman doesn't do any research. Just puts shit out there. Disinfo. It says, Dear Madonna, Beyonce, Katy Perry, Ariana, Britney Spears, we implore you to illuminate the truth behind the facade of the mainstream music. Just because you use big words doesn't mean you're telling the truth. Are you aware of the sinister symbolism embedded within your artistry? This is their artistry. Let's take a look at it. What's the first thing you noticed on the first two pictures on the left? Are either of those a pentagram? And I bet you, if you were to zoom in on the fingers and the hands, they're all fucked up because it's AI. AI doesn't know how to draw a pentagram, apparently. So, Medea, stop posting bullshit. Do a little research, please. Oh boy, it begins. Can't wait to read this bullshit. Pentagon deploys anti-terrorism units. Florida arrests migrants. Santa's warns migrants. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I haven't seen anything happen. I live in Florida. Uh, what else? Oh, God. Not this bullshit artist, Judy Byington. <sighs> She's been posting bullshit for years. And it was from this person's profile, alleged person. I don't even think this per is a real person, honestly. I bet you that's a AI-generated photo and that this person doesn't exist. It's probably some dude hiding behind some chick. Wouldn't surprise me at all. That's what I'm feeling intuitively, but it made me wonder. And if we, we look at uh, support us, no, thank you. If we look at the website for AMG news, look who's up on top, Judy Byington, queen of the hot air bullshit artists. And then we, in big titles, Jasara, Nasara, mass arrest. Oh, for fuck's sake, get mo. <sighs> The same shit we've been seeing floating around for years. Same shit. So I kind of looked up Judy Byington and Charlie Ward and went to Rumble and look at this. First post, Charlie Ward. You can't spell Charlie without the word lie. Charlie Ward. Um, that's what I'm going to call him. from now on. He's Charlie Ward. Breaking. This is huge. Count the amount of times you see this effing video. Judy Byington. 
SG Anon. Okay, yeah, hide behind that fictitious name, SG Anon. Uh, Charlie Ward and Michael Flynn, huge intel. Breaking, this is huge. Breaking, this is huge. Charlie Ward, breaking news, April 4th. Shocking. Charlie Ward, breaking, this is huge. This is huge. This is huge. And it goes on. Look at this shit. How much do you have to flood the internet with disinfo from Charlie Ward, right? Now, Charlie Ward is the fucktard that said that Nasara originated under JFK in the early 1960s. And we'll see it very gradually. The quantum financial system is the operating system. Well, first off, AI doesn't recognize any quantum financial system, Charlie. And the only currencies that can be entered into the quantum system are gold-backed currencies. So by default, the quantum system becomes gold-backed because everything that's connected to it has to be gold-backed. Now, as we sit here today, we already know that BRICS has gone gold-backed. So check it out for yourself if you don't believe me. BRICS is not backed by gold. This is more disinfo by Charlie Ward. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, along with Argentina, Saudi Arabia, and a couple of others, which I'll come on to at the moment, already have currencies gold backed. No, Charlie Ward, there are no currencies backed by gold as of today. First of all, let's get one thing very, very clear that every country in the world, bar none, and every territory, bar none, has signed up to Jasara outside of America. No, that's hot air and bullshit, Charlie. The first time that Nasara, the, do the documentations on Nasara were written in the late 1950s. Some people believe that when you touch your nose, or in Charlie's case, it looks like he's picking his nose. Some people believe that that's a sign of lying. The documentations on Nasara were written in the late 1950s. So before I was born, I was born in 1960. And they were going to be implemented in 1963, I think it was. Yeah, 1963, for the first time. And John F. Kennedy was the man that was going to implement them. You'll find nothing about Nasara on the internet until 2000 or so when Harvey Bernard's Nasara website went live. Shortly after Bernard's death in 2005, Shania Candace Goodwin used Nasara as a ploy to extort money from unsuspecting victims by making the same outrageous promises of Nasara Jasara that we hear to this day, just like the bullshit we just heard from Charlie Ward. Now, Charlie Ward is the fucktard that said that Nasara originated under JFK in the early 1960s. Bullshit! Massive bullshit! You, you can't find anything about Nasara before it was created by, by Harvey Barnard. I think it was like 1989, maybe early 1990s. You won't find anything before that. But Charlie Ward wants you to believe that it was created by him. If that's true, why don't you ever say something about it before Harvey Bernard did? Because it's a lie. And you've been pushing lies every fucking time you open your mouth. Just about every time. And it's not, I'm, I'm not saying all of his guests are, are liars. He had this doctor on that was really good. And I listened to her presentation and I enjoyed it. But I had to suffer through his lies to get to the good information. And that's how they get you. They hook you with some really good information. Not necessarily theirs. And then they throw this disinfo bullshit at you. I don't dig that. I don't dig lying. Not into that. So then, here we go. If Uncle Intel wasn't bad enough, we have Auntie. Well, eighth, but so will a lot of other things. Hang on to your britches, just because it's about to get real. Not only will there be a solar eclipse, which still does Which already happened, and we're all here. Let's sit right with me because it's supposed to be in Aries, but it's somehow stuck in Pisces. I'm going to do a video about a certain song and how I feel like it correlates with the fact that this eclipse will be stuck in Pisces. I'll stay tuned. That'll be a big deep dive for you later today. Oh, It'll also cause uh, the Aleph and the Tav to be created over America, the last three eclipses, and it will go over seven cities named Nineveh, a city named Jonah, and a city named Rapture. I've done multiple videos on that. Guys, go check it out. But there will also be other things happening up there in the firmament. I mean, in outer space. <laughs> 
Obviously, obviously a flat earther. <laughs> the devil's comment. Mm-hmm. Set to go right over us at the same time. And flat earth is another psyop out there. Because say all you want about it. Until one flat earther films another one walking off the edge. It'll never be proven. Or until one flat earther can take a drone and take video of the end of the earth and the alleged firmament it can never be proven so you know whatever she's saying take with a grain of salt as a matter of fact i'm just about done with her how is the eclipse it is called the devil's comet because of its two protruding horns out of its mass well that's weird and speaking of strange evil things in the sky did you know nasa is planning to shoot a rocket at the moon no it's at the sun anyway i've had enough nauseating april 8th there'll be more than just an eclipse no it was pretty much just an eclipse and here we have savage daughter whoever the hell this person is with 27 almost twenty-eight thousand followers oh, this guy is so full of he's the he may have been the origin this might be the uncle fucktard or whatever the hell his name uncle intel let's call him uncle fucktard instead it's not just a normal solar eclipse and even if it was that would be bad news enough really well it's already came and gone we're still here upon further investigation i have far more confidence in the things that i've already said let me sh upon further investigation you're full of shit. show you what i have found 7.4 earthquake and several aftershocks hit taiwan yesterday eight days after it earthquakes happen every day fucked hard total lunar eclipse hit the pacific plate and the north american plate at the same time for reference, the lunar eclipse covered this area right here over top of the divide between the Pacific and North American plates. The earthquake was over. Anyway, this guy, this guy is like, it's almost 10 minutes full of fear mongering. That's only 30 seconds of it. <laughs> you notice like, like the fear music in the background too. What the fuck? Ah. <sighs> fuck? I mean. Hi everyone that's joining me. I haven't had really a chance to say hi to everyone. I get wound up when it comes to people that lie. It irks the fuck out of me when they lie and intentionally make a bullshit like Charlie Ward and Uncle Fucktard and Auntie Fucktard. Oh, man. And I get it. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? You know, if you think you're getting good intel and you put it out there, you think you're going to help a lot of people. I think these people are doing it intentionally. Trying to, you know, the, the, the collective consciousness, they're, that's, they're, they're trying to suppress that put that fear out there and is it possible that while everyone's talking about this crap and the big nothing burger that happened today is it possible that there is something much bigger going on in the background perhaps has that has something to do with maybe the dollar collapse or world currency collapse stock market collapse planning of that going on while well, while well, everyone's focused over here all the shit's going on in the background to me that has a greater probability of what happened today than anything else the bottom line is to use your discernment when you hear these bullshitters i've been in this field i've had a website since 2005 my first website was a maya website to show people that 2012 wasn't the end of the world i got a video on my n5d youtube channel and it ended up getting like i don't know 15 million views or more to show people it's not the end of the world because there was all that fear mongering going out and uh who was that one fucktard producer that emmerich was it roland emmerich i believe something like that he put out that fear laden 2012 movie fuck him to put that into the collective and that's and as a matter of fact my my video came out long before his i just wanted to show people it's not the end of the world nothing to fear 
we're all going to be okay. And it's to this, I've actually went back about a month ago and I watched it and it's like, I think it's maybe a three hour movie, almost a three hour movie. And it's got fascinating information in it still to this day. You can find that on obviously on the NFID YouTube channel. But, and after that, I created in 5D after I got this download and was basically told to build a website called in 5D and to name it in 5D. And I taught myself how to build that website from scratch, from code, been here ever since. And that was back in 2009, but originally it was like almost 20 years ago. And that's when, you know, I, I remember, and some of you guys that have been in this genre as long as I have probably remember some of the bullshit that was going on back then. Like from the office of poof or poofness. Remember that fucktard? Uh, he's no, he died. I think he died in uh, 2013. But he was always talking about here. I, I can bring it up right here. Uh, and I, I'm going back a long ways. Like I said, I've been in this genre for a long time. I've seen a lot of shit come and go. So we're looking all the way back to like 2013, 2012. Um, and he, back then he's talking about these packets, the packets, deliveries, the RVs. Does that, does that sh shit sound familiar? But this whole Nasara thing, like I said, it began in 1989 by uh, this, this guy that wrote a a proposed college lecture on the acronym that was based uh, on Nasara's original acronym. And then after Blossom Goodchild hijacked that idea, the acronym changed to something slightly different, but it was still called Nasara at the time. And she's the one that embellished Nasara and added on all this crap, like everyone's going to receive $100,000 and all the bills will magically disappear and all debt will be forgiven and she's the one that put that bullshit in there and her goal was basically and she was caught doing it extorting money from people that were investing into why whatever they would need to invest in something that was going to eradicate their bills and everything it didn't make sense but she was still getting donations saying that oh i need you know this much money for my server and the website and to go out and put out flyers and banners and blah 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 she was extorting people for money and that's where the second version of Nasara came from. And that's what people are pushing to this day. And it's all built on lies, hot air, and bullshit. I do believe, Ali and I have talked about this. I do believe that there is some prosperity plan, some benevolent plan. Maybe the Roman Catholic Church will get exposed for their crimes against humanity. And their net worth will be divided amongst the world's population, creating instant abundance for everyone. Something along that line. Maybe they'll finally expose the truth about birth certificates, right? And how much everyone's worth, allegedly anywhere between 10 to $20 million a person that, that you're, allegedly your, your numbers are being traded on the New York Stock Exchange and all that stuff. I'm not saying any of that's going to happen, but something like that will happen and it won't be Nasara or Jasara. It can't because Nasara and Jasara, well, the new version of Nasara from Blossom or uh, Candace Sh Shania Goodwin. I'm sorry, I might just call her Blossom Goodchild, but Candace Shania Goodwin uh, was the one that turned everything around on the old N Nasara, came up with a new acronym, a bunch of lies, extorted money. Uh, so it can't be based on that because it was based on lies. That goes against universal law and it can't happen. It won't happen. But will something similar happen? Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't see why not. Yeah. Uh, Claudette's saying that she was giving people a false sense of security. Yeah. And this was way back when. This was back in the early 2000s. And when I first heard about Nasara, I thought, wow, this is great. I did some research. when you go down the rabbit hole it's a blessing and a curse because you learn so much you can't go back none of you are going back out of the rabbit hole i'm not either 
But with that rabbit hole, you also get the bullshitters in there and the people that intentionally are lying to you. The psyops, the psychological operations designed to throw you off course, like the flat earth. Look over here, flat earth, can't, can't ever prove it. You'll never have proof. Keep researching it though. Keep going down that worthless dead end road. And if you, even if you could, so what? Okay, the earth's flat. Okay. Next. What are you going to do about it? What if it is? Okay. Well, that proves that they were lying to us. No shit. Why don't you prove something that... Well, why don't you go out and prove different things? Because you can't prove that. You can't prove that. We know that we've been lied to. Our educational systems are full of lies. Why didn't they, in history class, teach us how George Bush's grandfather, Prescott Bush, funded both sides of World War II? Never learned that in school, did we? If we learn that, do you think either Bush would have been elected president here in the United States? Nope. Down the rabbit hole. I posted a video the other day. I'll see if I can find it. It's kind of funny because the part I like best about this video, it's, it's kind of like, uh, you know, what, what happens when you go down the rabbit hole? But yeah, once you go down the rabbit hole, you can't you can't go back. It's a meme. And the meme says me throwing people down the rabbit hole. Okay. That's that's how I'll preface this. Here it is. My favorite one's the one that the, the one that gets kicked into the rabbit hole. <laughs> Big rabbit hole here. The rabbit comes up and kicks him in the ass and he goes into the rabbit hole. We don't need the music. So yeah, visual representation of me throwing people down the rabbit hole that they're not ready for. Doink. That was you and me one day. Something led us all into that rabbit hole at one point. And then for those who, I'm kind of given like a, a brief history of some of the bullshit that I've seen in this genre throughout the years. And as I mentioned, the office of poof was one of them with the RV, RVs and these fictitious packets that were always supposed to be delivered. And then once they were delivered, there'd be abundance for everyone. And then some bullshit excuse would come up that they were, they had to get diverted and they couldn't get delivered this day. And they're going to try again in a month. And <sighs> never happened. Never happened. Remo it reminds me of, there was a channeler. I don't know if he's still channeling or not. And I got to say, channeling is real. It, it is real. I've unintentionally channeled myself. So I, I'm not, I'm not anyone that channels, I'm not putting you down, but there was this one channeler, Mike Kinsey with a Q who channeled this allegedly being called Salusa. And that was part of the discernment that I was telling you guys about. Does anyone remember back in 2011, Blossom Goodchild, when she said that the Federation of Light was going to land and the skies all around the world would be filled with UFOs? Does anyone remember that? I do. After she put out that information, Mike Kinsey and Salusa magically jumped on the bandwagon saying, yes, I have confirmed this is true. And back then I was calling the bullshit out. 
I wanted to, I, a lot of this stuff, man. I'd love to see med beds. I would love to see something like Nasara, the original version of Nasara, maybe, or some benevolent program to help everyone. I'd love to see some federation of benevolent beings visit us. But at some point, you got to use your own discernment. And yeah, Mike Kinsey jumped on the bandwagon. I don't know if they were Pleiadians or whatever. This, Like I said, this was back in 2011. And uh, yeah. I've been really trying to, oftentimes I'll bite my tongue, but I, I just got to the point of where the bullshitters need to be called out. And many of them hide behind fictitious names. Santa surfing. There's one. Juan O'Saban. There's a, there's a boatload of people that hide, that give out some good info and a shit ton of disinfo. And today is one of those days with the solar eclipse. As I shown you, you know, you have these people out there that are putting crap out. <laughs> Ellie and I, through the tarot, we've been saying that. Oh, isn't that funny? Justice. We've been saying for the last five weeks, it's a nothing burger. Enjoy the day. And that's where I'm going to leave off. Hope you guys had a great day. Maybe you were able to watch the eclipse on TV. Maybe you were in the line of it here in Florida, Southern Florida. Uh, we didn't have much of a, maybe a, it would have been maybe a 40%, 30% eclipse from here. And to me, I knew it was going to be a nothing burger. So I didn't even go out and check it out. But if you did, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, one thing I have noticed is that I've been extraordinarily tired, way more than I can remember ever. Sleeping anywhere from 10 to 14, 16 hours. And I'm wondering if it's from these energies, cumulative energies, and if anyone else is feeling those kind of bouts of tiredness because you do get these upgrades when when you go to sleep and you also travel interdimensionally so more stuff is probably happening in your dream state than is than it is in real life especially today with today's solar eclipse nothing burger so on that note i'm gonna bid you all an amazing evening and i want to thank you for tuning in to in 5d and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Allie and I will be back tomorrow, tomorrow night with uh, Tuesday night. Depending on when you're watching this, every Tuesday night, Allie and I do a show, Global Predictions. Starts at 8 o'clock Eastern. And then at 10 o'clock Eastern, we switch over to Rumble and we do a live and uncensored show there. So uh, please join us on both of those shows on Tuesday nights, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and I'm gonna bid you all do. Much love and light to everyone from my heart to yours. Take care of everyone.